in the adjoining figure find the length of mn okay mn where do we find mn okay mn is here let me just kind of color this out find the length of mn and the area of the square mnop right so where's the area of the square okay mnop so mnop is this square so one we need to find out the length of mn and the area of the square mnop consider consider that e f g h e f g h is a square with a side 10 cm okay so each of the sides of this square is 10 cm and m n o p are the midpoints of the side of the square so all these points namely m n o and p are midpoints of the square now what does this mean this means that let's say for example all these sides are 10 cm each why because this is a square e f g h right and because these are midpoints this means that the length of e n is what 10 divided by 2 or 5 cm similarly if you notice e m is also half of e h so this will also be equal to 5 cm and we know this is a right angle triangle right so let's do it like this e n is equal to half of e f y because it is given that n is the midpoint and we know e f is equal to how much 10 centimeter or in other words e n is equal to 5 centimeter right similarly if i were to consider e m i guess it has gone even uh, further e m is equal to half of e h because m is the midpoint of this entire line or half into 10 centimeter 5 centimeter right now in triangle e m and n consider this triangle okay let me just highlight this for you with a which color do we use okay let's use maybe white e m n this triangle okay this is a right angle triangle and i don't need to tell you why okay let me tell you this is a square and all the sides of the square meet each other at right angle right so this is a right angle so effectively what we get is that triangle emn is a right angle triangle right if it is a right angle triangle then the hypotenuse which is mn square should be equal to what e m square plus e n square this is the property of a right angle triangle which says that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square m n square is something which you need to find out what is e m e m is equal to 5 square plus 5 square e n is also equal to 5 this is what we have computed here or 25 plus 25 is equal to 50 right or we can say that mn is equal to square root of 50 we know square root of 50 can be written as square root of 25 into square root of 2 25 square root we know is 5 so 5 root 2 right so the first part which was basically the side or the length of the side mn right that we have found now the second thing when we need to find is area of the square mnop m n o p the yellow portion which is highlighted over here now we know area of a square is what side square right and one of the sides is m n for this square right so m n square what is the length of m n that we've got here as 5 root 2 square or what we get is 25 which is square of 5 into 2 50 so 50 centimeter square is the area of the square m n o p right so what was the property of the right angle triangle or oh, sorry property of the square that we used in this particular case the property that we used to answer this case was 
that all the sides of a square wherever they intersect they intersect at right angle I have used this particular area for finding out this thing you could have used either this one or this one or this one whichever one you liked and the answer would have been the same right